hard to believe that another year has passed. Just like that, we've ended the book on 2023 and started a new one, and it's already zipping by. I wish there was a way to pause it for just a little, to somehow catch up, a way to take it slow and not miss out on all the life that's out there. Also, while running a business that comes with no promises or how-to guide. But here we are, mid-January so soon, Seattle to Sydney, now something I can tuck neatly away in 2023, which feels wild. Hi, I'm Kristen, an American full-time reseller now living in Australia, and this is Well Read Wardrobe. There's so much I'd like to reflect on now that we've begun 2024, a brand new quarter one beginning. So much I'd like to carry into this new year for both business and personal life. And so much slowness I'd like to embrace while casting off the cloak of hustle culture. Where's the balance? Slow fashion is a huge focus, especially as a clothing reseller and I feel drawn to the idea of slowing down all other areas of life as well. Not tomorrow, not someday, which I'm reminded isn't even a date on the calendar, but now, now, present moment. After all, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Thank you Ferris Bueller for trying to teach me this from early on. It's funny how day by day, nothing changes, but when you look back, everything is different. C.S. Lewis is quoted as saying that, and I couldn't agree more. While trying to push myself and also avoid being stuck in sadness this first holiday season away from my children and all of my family, I attempted my first thriftmas slash vlogmas, preparing to film and publish as many videos as I could for December. Turns out nine was my limit. In brainstorming ideas for this venture, the opposite of slowness with daily uploads encouraged for this time of year, I found myself gravitating towards design studies and brand research. I found myself falling in love with fashion all over again. The kid I was awakened. The one my mom had to hide the winter scarves and Halloween costumes from in the dead of summer and the shorts put up when it snowed because I was focused on the creation and not the weather at the tender age of five. I found that I craved the time for these deep dives into reseller related learning and that the pursuit was worth more than a day or two or even three while I compiled information to share with the community here, hoping you'd find something worthy within it as well. A fast flip, a video put out in a day, was like serving an appetizer when what I really desired was cake. My appetite for more was awakened. More doing, not just simply more quantity, which clashed with the original goal. When asked for her best advice in a recent interview with Cheryl Strayed, author Manjula Martin said, Once, on a beachy island down a pothole road, I saw a sign that was painted on an old surfboard. It said, Try slow. I can't think of better advice, although I don't always follow it myself. Try slow. I also learned that this time of year in my new home is embraced as a time off. It was the break I didn't know I needed and hadn't prepared for. Everything came to a halt as December edged on. Cafes closed for the season, job hunting stalled as offices and shops went on vacation mode, and emails went unanswered until after the first week of January when they all opened back up. And eBay went from trickling steady sales to downright nothing for a solid three weeks. Joy was something I had to go find in nature and slow moments of smallness instead of my usual checklists and progress as I felt myself acclimate to the culture surrounding me. The idea of romanticizing my life 
was something I was already starting to embrace. And funnily enough, it was in the filming of B-roll for Vlogmas where I found myself really taking in my surroundings and searching for these everyday magical moments and vistas so I could include them here on YouTube. Through the lens of the camera, I was able to fully see all the beauty and the stillness and enjoy the experience beyond just the consumerism. My strangled pocketbook also helped as business slowed and then halted to keep me in check with priorities. Sometimes, I learned, the best investment can be in ourselves and not simply another item to potentially flip for a profit. Slow living prioritizes savoring the moment and simplifying one's life. It can look different depending on the person. Intentionality is the common thread that I would like to use to string my 2024 on, creating not just a financially stable business that I can depend on, because to be clear, I am in a partnership that does depend on me contributing half of the household requirements and see grow, but one that can provide a place of peace and self-fulfillment as well. As much as I need this to be my money maker, I do not want to feel part of a hustle machine and burn out any more than I already have. I crave a reconnection with purpose. While I once was a Goodwill Outlet Bins shopper, feeling a sense of duty to keep treasures out of landfills and off foreign dumping grounds while earning an income, I no longer have that sourcing spot available to me. I was so familiar with the sales cycle at my local thrift shops and knew when items would be discarded, and shopping within the cycle became a ritual of sorts. Here, I've yet to find out the future of clothes left unsold on racks. Some inner city shops have no markdown dates, and I've seen the same clothing on hangers for months before they disappear, and still I wonder if they were sold or something else. Only a few stores I visited were willing to fill me in on the store matrix, and it has changed the way I see myself as a reseller, at least while shopping outside of the suburbs. Nineteenth-century American philosopher and writer Henry David Thoreau emphasized the importance of slowing down and living deliberately and simply. I may still embrace maximalist interior design. I am no minimalist, as it turns out, no mistaking that. But the importance of being deliberate in choices, both in terms of how I spend my money and the inventory I choose to pick up, is something I am now focusing on. How to be both the Capricorn gold star getter and experience the joys of everyday life without the pressure of girl bossing every moment. The recipe I am now working on to hone these values is a mixture of both more and less. More pleasure, more creative endeavors, more research and learning, more connections, more purpose, more rituals and routine, more living, more strategic sourcing, more profits, more abundance. Less procrastination, less self-judgment, less stalling, less self-limitations, less waste, less doom scrolling, otherwise known as seeking out dopamine hits while secluding from the world around me, less hauls, and ultimately less listings and all the repetitive work that comes from it. My fear is that this business model will also have less impact, i.e. less clothing pieces coming home with me due to smaller profit margins, or less profits overall. I met with the idea that this may be a self-limiting belief and that the opportunity to build a business that can operate on less inventory with more eggs in one basket, so to speak, higher cost of goods and therefore gamble on one item may only be frightening 
because my strategies have aligned with the availabilities of the past. Soren Kierkegaard, Danish theologian, philosopher, and poet, wrote that life can only be understood backwards, but must be lived forwards. That speaks volumes to me in regards to life, 2020 through present. He also said, life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. And now, as 2024 sits as a blank page in the story of time, I'm ready to embrace that age-old tale we've been told since kindergarten. How slow and steady wins the race. Maybe that tortoise was influenced by the same philosophies and ideals, stopping to smell the roses and enjoy the journey. And I aim to do the same. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and thumbs up on your way out. Ring the notification bell so you're alerted to the next upload for 2024. Our designer days will continue on with deep dives into past and present clothing designers that spark our interest. If you have one that you'd like to see on the channel, drop it in the comments below. There may be less items per haul coming up, but certainly there will be more shopping, more exploring, with reseller related research in the mix. If anything, I'm embracing the changes I've made to my YouTube channel since moving abroad and will continue on with the mix of American and Australian brands and business. That's all for this chapter. Thanks so much for joining me and a very happy new year to you.